Do you find yourself wondering just how insane Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is going to be? Specifically that we already know that this film is going to deal with the insanity that is Gargantos and not Shumagorath for whatever reason. And we got a small brief glimpse as to what the character is going to look like, but now we have an even better insight into the creepy approach and marketing that they're taking with this character. So let's talk about all the weird wet squishy tentacles. So if you guys would like to see all the images available, they will be linked down below. Unfortunately, some of them are too low of quality to even toss into a video. So I'm just going to show the semi higher quality ones. And these are images that do highlight Gargantos, the villain of the film. And they were discovered by users over on Amazon because merchandise for the film is slowly starting to roll out to the pre-order and shipping stages soon. Now, looking at these, you can quite clearly tell that they're definitely pushing a Lovecraftian vibe to the max, specifically with the one that's on the screen now. And then they get a little bit more, um, I can't hippie-ish, 60-ish friendly, I want to say, you know, having that throwback to the old style of art that they used to use originally with Doctor Strange. But overall, the marketing for this strikes me as weird. Like, I don't know anybody who I've talked to that's seen anything in regards to this film who's like, you know what, I can't wait to get Gargantos merchandise. Oh, I can't wait to wear that Gargantos shirt. You guys get what I'm saying here? It's a little weird to me. Like, we're seeing more merchandise focused on Gargantos than the likes of America Chavez or even, well, anybody, really. Like, there's been more merchandise highlighting him than Wanda. I don't know why. Um, The cynic in me has a very, very cynical look at this. And I'm suspecting that for some reason, he's going to end up being a punchline and a comedy. Like, he's going to end up cracking jokes and things and travel with them through the multiverse. Like, you know, they're going to fight him. He's going to be kind of formidable. He's going to be like, oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I'm just Gargantos. I'm, uh, I'm in this like you are. Let's go. And then that's why he's on so much merchandise and we're seeing figures and stuff because people are going to want to buy it up. It's like your next effect of, uh, you know, the Baby Yoda Groot syndrome where, hey, we got the thing, but look at how cute he is now. When he smiles, it's going to look cute. That's the cynic in me. That's really what I'm feeling. That's the only reason I could think of this much merchandise. Like, remember all the Kaecilius merchandise? No, you don't. Remember all the Ronin the Ach No, you don't. Remember all the Malak? No, you don't. See what I mean? I'm being very cynical about this one, I know. But something about this merchandise doesn't sit with me right. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Because I don't want Gargantos out there cracking jokes and... You know, one-liners and quips, but I suspect that might be what we get now. I just, I have no other explanation. That's why. Let me know what you guys think. And are you going to pick up any Gargantos merch?